Hi, I'm Flop Ross, and this is the joy of camouflage. Whether you're getting ready to water the Tree of Liberty, or you forgot to pay your taxes this year, I'm gonna teach you how to hide in the trees, not become water for them, fed boy. A couple of items you're gonna need to break up these lines better than your stripper X, paint, obviously, the rifle that you're gonna be painting, obviously, tape, some sort of degreaser to get all those oil and contaminants off of the rifle, a rag, gloves so you keep your fingerprints off and don't incriminate yourself. Now, turn your head and cough. Retarded. A throwaway magazine that you're okay with getting paint on, so you don't get any paint in your special little hole. Now, much like coitus, the most important part of the process is the preparation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all the things we don't wanna paint. For example, this sling. I don't wanna paint it. I like the color it is. And we need to cover up our lenses, our light covers, and this pressure pad. I don't want to paint that either. I'm going to cover up my muzzle because I have threads here for a special little whisper pickle. Those of you who have QD attachments or threads, cover those up. You don't want those getting icky sticky. Trust me. You don't want that. So let's get this taped up and good to go. One of the more important steps in the lovemaking that is camouflage is making sure all of the grease and contaminants or off of the rifle. That way, the paint can cling like your ex-girlfriend. Now that we've got everything degreased and we've got everything taped up, we're ready to go paint. Now, if you want to add a little extra spice and flair to blend in like the Lorax with the trees, you can get a little stencil going. Or, like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little tiger stripe with some painter's tape. Come here, come on in here. Let me show you how this is done. We're gonna take some painter's tape and you wanna take a longer strip to start. Now you gotta tear the shit out of this. I like to start kinda at the top, work my way around, make some interesting pull decisions, and that right there. That may look weird to you. That's because it does. We're not done yet. We gotta kinda pull in here, pull it around, Cross. Oh, look at that, we're starting to get a little bit more stripey. And right from the top here, let's make it a little bit more angled and torn. There we go. Look at that. It's a perfect tiger stripe. I've never seen a more perfect tiger stripe in my entire life. That's how it's done. Make a shitload of those, and some small ones too. Now that we're all prepped and ready to go, all that's left to do is decide on your beautiful canvas and what you're gonna paint. So let's start with a base coat of this nice khaki color. Remember kids, if you start feeling lightheaded, keep going. Now that we have the base coat on, we need to let this dry just a little bit before we put our stencils on, or else it's gonna get all weird and gross. So we're gonna let this dry and then apply our stencils. Now that our base layer is dried, we're gonna apply those little pieces of tape that we ripped up around the rifle. Have fun with it, play around with it. And the best part about this is, if you don't like it and you messed it up, you can just paint again. Because that's how spray paint works. You don't pay $400 for a Cerakote you don't like. A pattern that you might want to think about is thicker stripe, thinner stripe, thinner stripe, thicker stripe. And then just kind of go with that, play around with it and see how that feels. And you can kind of get a look of how it's going to be with just the tape on it. So now that we have all of our tape in place as our stencil, it's time to paint. We want to get a little froggy. We want to play around with it. And remember, there's only happy little accidents. We got green. We got brown. Let's go to Pound Town. Now that she's done drying, all that's left to do is remove your stencils and admire your beautiful heart.
Now that that's all done, all that's left to do is let this thing officially cure, kind of let the paint sink in and solidify. And the cool thing about spray paint is it only costs like 10 bucks. So if you didn't like it, just do it again. You can do this over and over until you find something that you like. And spray paint, it looks better beaten up. Kind of like that sweet, sweet puss. Remember kids, this is your paintbrush used to paint fear in the hearts of those that would try and take them away. Allegedly! Now get out there, be one with the trees, and above all else, bring tyranny to its knees. I'm weary of this conversation, can we please stop talking, please? Ignorant.